house in New Orleans. They call the rising sun, and it's been the ruin of many a poor boys. And God, I know I'm one. All right, let's take a look at House of the Rising Sun. This is a classic and let's see how we can play it on the ukulele. Let's go. My mother was a tailor. Okay, the chords that we need. First, we need the A minor. All right. Then we need the chord of C. Then we need the chord of D, which I'm grabbing with one finger like this. Maybe for you it will be easier like that. And then we need the chord of F. All right. And the chord of V7. And for the most part, this will be the chords that we need. But also, if you want to make the outro, you need the chord of D minor as well. Okay. And the last one is the chord of A minor 9. This is the last, last chord that we are playing in the song. It's only played when you finish the song. All right. Okay, so we have pretty much three parts. The intro, which is also interlude, the verse part, and the outro part. All right, so let's start with the intro. It starts with A minor, to C, to D, to F, and then A minor, to E7, to A minor, to E7. All right, after the intro, we go to the verse which is A minor. There is to C, a house, to D in New Orleans, to F. And then A minor. The chord of rising sun, two times E7, okay? And then the second part. And it's been a ruin of many a poor boys. And God, I know I'm one. And when you say one here, always on the last word of the verse, you start the interlude, which is exactly the same as the intro. But the tricky part is what the right hand should do. Now, this song usually have this guitar pattern, which we'll not be able to do uh, here because we don't have enough strings. But I'll show you what I'm doing. It doesn't sound exactly like the record, but it kind of brings the vibe about it. All right, I'll hold just A minor here to show you what I'm doing. I'm positioning my fingers so the thumb is always on the G string, pointing finger always on the C string, middle finger always on the E string, and ring finger always on the A string. And I'm playing first the G string, and then really quickly the triplet feel like this, G, C, E. Okay. And then with no triplet feel, just A, E, C. So. All right, this is the picking pattern that I'm doing with the right hand. If this is too complicated for you, maybe you can do some strumming pattern that is imitating the same thing. Maybe something like down, down, up, down, down, up, down, 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 up, down, down, up, down. There is a house in New Orleans. They call the rising sun. This is also a little bit tricky, but you know what? If you just want to play the song somewhere, maybe you can do slow down shows like this. There is a house in New Orleans. They call the rising sun. So choose for yourself, maybe at the beginning start with the most simpler one just to learn the parts and after that focus more on the right hand, all right? And pretty much after each verse we have the interlude and then again verse, interlude, verse, interlude, verse, interlude. And after that the last interlude is actually the outro. It's a little bit different, all right? So it starts the same way. But here, after the first E7, we go to A minor to D minor. <laughs> and 
and it ends on A minor 9, okay? Pretty cool chord. Um, I don't know if uh, you want to do the outro, but I had to lay it out here. And uh, yeah, just memorize these parts and go and play with the original recording. This will be the fastest way that you learn it, in my opinion. So give it a try. And uh, that was it for me. Thank you so much for watching. See you on the next video. Bye. Again, man down.